Well, radio frequency and ultrasound devices are you know, just becoming very popular over the last year or two, but the technology has been around for years. Um, the benefits of these over laser is they're actually not as selective. So when you use a laser or a light source, you're selecting uh, a color or a contrast in the skin that the laser is specific for. In these two cases, you're caught, you can cause non-selective thermal injury um, underneath the skin without affecting the surface of the skin. Yeah, radio frequency and ultrasound are, they have numerous advantages. Uh, they can be delivered in different ways, either by probes or by uh, needle arrays or just by generating a field uh, in the case of some new devices. So you don't even, in some cases, don't even have to touch the skin to deliver the energy. Um, ultrasound, for example, can be focused just like you're focusing uh, the sun with a magnifying glass when you're heating up insects when you're a kid, and you can focus below at specific depths in the skin to cause heat and then subsequent contraction. With, ultras with, with radio frequency, um, you can either emit the energy, which is really heat energy, in specific needling array patterns, so very specific patterns, or as I said, you could involve a whole field. For example, you could treat an entire abdomen or flank and reduce the fat in, in the case of some of these devices, or with the needles, you can, you can impart the energy in the dermis of the skin and help cause contraction as well. well I think we can reach a, a wider patient base. Um, for example, a lot of these, these technologies maybe actually wind up being safer in our darker skin types where we're somewhat bypassing the surface of the skin or the epidermis, and so we don't have the problems with safety in terms of causing what we call dyschromia or discoloration like you would with a laser. So that's one area. And the other area is actually being able to target potentially larger areas like off the face, such as the abdomen or those kind of areas, which would possibly take a lot longer with a laser. It could be accomplished a lot quicker with a radio frequency device.